Well, it's December 6th today, and uh, as you can see, got the orange on and have a muzzleloader over my shoulder. It's first shotgun season here in Iowa, and uh, I just bought a couple doe tags, and I'm coming back out on Bill's farm to help him achieve his uh, doe management goals. Uh, going back to the cabin, I hunted there last week with a bow and saw about 10 antlerless deer, just didn't get any within range. Tonight, if they come out in that field, they're definitely going to be within range. We're going to have some fun. It's a cool afternoon, about 35 degrees. we got a good west wind blowing about 15 miles an hour. Just a, uh, a nice evening to get out and uh, try to put a couple does on the ground. Uh, rooster. Rooster. Eric and I just got settled into the blind, and uh, this is a spot that you've probably seen a number of times before. We're hunting at the cabin, and more specifically, hunting out of the redneck blind. Uh, at, at the cabin food plot. And this blind is uh, brand new. Uh, the guys from Redneck came in this summer and uh, revamped and replaced a lot of the blinds. Uh, like I said earlier, the last time I was in here, which was oh, maybe a week ago, I saw a 10 antlerless deer. So hopefully some of those will come out tonight and uh, anything that steps out into this food plot, it'll make for a, a nice easy shot, which is good because this part of the farm is incredibly thick. You'd hate to shoot one and hit it poorly and really have to track it a long ways. But uh, 50 yards or closer with a muzzleloader, with a, with an icon scope, no problem. So it's a nice cool evening. Got a got about a perfect breeze, 10 to 15 miles an hour out of the west. And I would expect we should start to see deer moving here soon. It is 424 right now. The sun is just hitting the horizon. And we just had the first deer come out. There was an adult doe. And there was actually a buck behind her. I don't, Eric probably didn't see that. We were focused in on the doe. Came right out in the middle of the plot and uh, stopped her at about 35 yards. I got the chip shot that I was hoping for. Got all the cameras running and uh, put a doe on the ground. So I've got one more tag. And uh, I'm going to load up and see if we can get another one to come out. We still have a solid 45 minutes, so it's very possible uh, we could get another doe to come out tonight and uh, get two. around the blood trail right now and it's really easy to follow but as you can see this is hands and knees country right here like I said this part of the farm is so thick around the cabin here that uh, there's just a narrow path through here with the deer coming out but otherwise really hard to navigate through my guess is she's not very very much farther maybe 20 30 yards but crazy how thick this farm is tracking tracking on hands and knees here Oh, big doe. Real big doe. Well, mission accomplished on our hunt tonight. Shot a big mature doe, real big bodied. Uh, one of the bigger ones that I've seen in a while. Uh, but you know, this time of the year, uh, no doubt there's some bucks that are beginning to shed. Just a small number, but it can happen. I remember a few years ago, Scott Pruka was hunting a buck called the uh, Decoy 8, and that deer had shed uh, before the shotgun season. But when she came out this evening, I checked real close with the Nikons and uh, could tell right away that she was an adult though. I got a good look at her forehead. The muzzleloader did the trick. She ended up going about 100 yards though. That was, uh, wasn't a tough blood trail, but we were on our hands and knees going through, through some really thick cover, starting to head down into a ditch. And I thought it was gonna get uh, maybe a little bit hairy there for a while, but uh, we found her on a side hill and were able to pull her up right by the cabin and got her out here. So. Like I said, we didn't see a whole lot of deer uh, total, maybe uh, four deer. Weren't moving great here this evening, but we did have the, the right deer come by. 
got uh, one more day left of the first shotgun season and I have one tag left. If I get time uh, tomorrow evening, I'll try to get out and put another doe on the ground. But it was, it was fun, you know, I'm a bow hunter at heart, but every now and then it's fun to get the muzzleloader in your hand and uh, extend your range a little bit. Ironically, tonight we didn't need it. Got about a 30 yard shot and was able to put this big doe on the ground.